Hello. It's fabulous, fantastic Friday. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Welcome back to Lighthouse TV. Whenever and wherever you are watching, because I can see you. That is right. We've got another fantastic show for you today. We have a load more songs. We have a everlasting craft with Zoe and Jen. And of course, we've got the legendary cat telling us a lovely Bible story. And we're doing the last bit of our memory verse. It's a bit sad, isn't it? But we are doing the whole thing. And of course, it's all about... That's right, it's hope. So good. And we will be going to the main stage team for the last World Pentathlon Championship. Yes! But what will it be? But before all that, let us pray and then we will go into a song. Let's pray together. Dear Lord and our Father, we thank you for today and every day that we have had so far this week. Thank you that we've been able to connect together even if it's virtual. We've been able to connect and grow together and learn more about you and learn today particularly how we all have hope no matter what. Amen. back to the last day of the World Pentathlon Challenge. Team Lighthouse started the week so well, but yesterday's race where only one team member stopped to help a fallen competitor from a rival team has shaken the public's confidence. Can they pull together on this last day and get a strong finish? We hope so. Cool guys, so Lizzie's gone to register. Oh actually, oh no it's her now. Okay guys, so yesterday we need to put that behind us. Um, I know the papers said that we've lost the championship, but you know what, we're a team, we haven't lost hope. We can do this, we can actually still win, particularly if we work together and we're strong. There is hope for today and I think we just need to find some strength, ignore those newspapers. We're going to do this, we're going to rock this team. I'll see you soon. Brilliant, I've got all my stuff. Sorted. We've got ready, we've got the strategy. Yep, we've got the plan. At each checkpoint, there's a certain time we need to get there for. Oh! Cool, I'm feeling strong for this event. Yeah, you can pick us up when we're down. Come on. Right, we may not win, but we've still got hope. Yeah? Let's we have go. still got hope. Oh, we Let's need go. good weather. Let's go. Woo! Let's go. Come on, guys. Oh. How much further is to go? Um, 
I can see the halfway marker. Halfway. 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 Are we halfway? Almost halfway. We are. But uh, hang on. It is. I think it is stopping snowing. Come on, guys. Really? Yeah. Miranda, come on. You planned this really accurate route. I can see the halfway marker. The snow is stopping. And you've you've been really strategic. We've got our supplies. Come on, and Ryan, if we come across any more large snow mounds, you're, yeah. you're strong enough. We can clear them. We can do this. Yeah. Come on. Hope's not lost. Let's go. Guys, let's go. I think this is blue sky. Come on. It's nice. We can do this. Come on, I'm come leaving. On. Let's go. Guys, I think we're nearly at the top. Really? <gasps> we are. Oh, so oh wow. That's amazing. Wow. Oh, is this is a rainbow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. This is cool. Oh, we thought we'd lost hope, but isn't this a reward? Isn't it? Well done, guys. Well and done. I finally did wear the appropriate shorts. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Should we put our hands in, guys? Yes! Yeah? yeah. Really end this really the yeah. way we want to. Gimme! I'm out! Gimme! I'm out! Gimme! I'm out! Well done Team Lighthouse, they really pushed through all the bad stuff and made it to the top of the mountain. Hope was not lost. Wow, that was really scary. Yeah, I didn't think we would make it. But we did because we were brave. Yeah, and we were not afraid. Yeah, we worked together and we did make a difference. And we weren't alone either. Well, we had hope and with God's help, we would climb that mountain. And we didn't ever rest. Get it? Ever rest? That is genu ever rest? genuinely worst one we've done all week. It's fabulous. That's the worst. It's amazing. Right, let's quickly move on to Kat with the Bible story. Can't believe it. Full house. Couldn't really do a house tour without, without a bathroom, could we? It's very nice, isn't it? I like the accent colour. Anyway, um, day five. This is the last day, people. Doesn't feel like that, does it? It does, it's just gone so quick. So, um, the story today, what's that about? Well, we couldn't leave yesterday the way we left it because that was disciples being upset after Jesus had died and feeling scared. And we don't want to leave anybody there, do we? So, we need to finish that story. So, we start after Jesus' death, we start after all the trauma, and the disciples are terrified. And we find them today sat in an upstairs loft with the door locked because everybody has taken against Christians because, you know, Jesus was, was crucified, so obviously that meant he was bad. And so anyone that followed him by association was bad. And, and they were scared. And if they were found, they were scared that people would do the same thing to them. So they were all together, apart from Judas, in the upper room, in a, in, in a, in a loft, and they'd locked the door and they were scared. Now, this is where something happens that's quite amazing. Because remember, Jesus was a man, 100% man. He's also God. And God says sometimes he does stuff that we don't understand. He says that he's a mystery. And this is one of those times. Because through a locked door that nobody opened, with a whole room of people that were all sitting there, Jesus was suddenly there. Now, it doesn't say they unlocked the door and let him in. It doesn't say that he knocked the door. It's nothing. Jesus was just there because Jesus had a new body. He'd risen from the dead. He looked like Jesus. They recognised him as Jesus, but he didn't have the same limitations as we do. So it sounds weird, but it's totally God and it's completely supernatural. And that's fine. Supernatural in a good way. God was the original supernatural. Jesus was there. And he basically says to them, hello, it's me, I'm alive. And the disciples go crazy. They can't believe it to start with. I mean, who would? It never happened before. And he, and he shows them, he shows them his body. He shows them the marks from where he was crucified. It's real, he's alive. And they'd, they'd had that idea when they went to his tomb and it was empty. And when it appeared to the women and they'd come and told them, and they'd had angels tell them he was alive, but here he was. He was here in the room with them. And he said, now, let me explain. I've risen from the dead and I'm going to go back to my father in heaven. It's where I came from. It's where I'm going back. 
Now that sounds like a sad thing, but the good thing is that when I go back to heaven, there's going to be another bit of God that takes my place. We're not going to leave you. We're not going to leave you on your own. You'll never be alone because the bit of God that's coming is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is like God with skin off. It's not Jesus with skin on like a human. The Holy Spirit is God with skin off and he can be anywhere. He can be with anyone. And, and where you are, who you are, it doesn't matter because the Holy Spirit can be with you. So you will never, ever be alone. And that means that when I say everything's going to be OK, when I tell you that you can have faith in God and you have hope. Well, I mean it. And this is the proof. You'll have God with you wherever you go. Nothing that God asks you to do will you have to do in your own strength. God will give you the strength to do it. And one version in, 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 uh, in the gospel said that Jesus is like he breathed the Holy Spirit sort of into them. He prayed that God would, would do this. Now, we know that there's another passage as well where, where the, the disciples are there as well and, and, and they experience the Holy Spirit in a, in a like a, 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 a rushing wind and tongues of fire and it's, a, it's amazing. It's God, but it's God in a form that can be anywhere, anytime. And it means that we can have hope because we're not hoping in us. There's nothing special about us, but there is everything special about God and about his Holy Spirit. Isn't that great? Ah, oh, the disciples were locked indoors and frightened, but Jesus came back when they needed him, unlocking the doors. We've just got to keep hope. Like all the characters that we've seen previously, brighter skies are always on the horizon. Yeah, and I think Jen and Zoe have got a great craft to remind us all about hope. So what was our final craft for this week? Well, today we're making a Hope Infinite card flipper. That's right. So what you'll need is eight pieces of two by four paper. So you'll need two different colors and um, four, four of your co one color and four of another. Then you want to fold them in half and then you want to open them out and then fold them into the middle. So you should have four folds. Do that on all of them and once you're done with that, you're going to take two colours, two of one colour to be your base. So you want to lay them flat horizontally. You want to glue there, there, there and there. So I'm going to put some glue on there. Oh, you. Thank you. And then we're going to take two of the other colour and we're going to lay them vertically on top. So I'm going to glue them and then show you what I've done. Glue them. So it should end up looking a bit like this. So next up, we're going to fold it outwards. So I have marked where we're going to be gluing. So we need a big bit of glue in here, a big bit of glue in here, and two small bits of glue here. So I'm going to stick that down, some glue there. And I'm going to use two of my base colours horizontally across. So you should have this. Okay, so then our next step is to fold it outwards. So I have marked where we're going to be sticking them with um, double-sided tape because that's what I'm going to be using for this bit. So I'm going to peel them off and I want to stick two greens vertically down. But you can still use glue if you want to use glue. So you want to lay your two pieces of other colour, my green, and you want to lay them vertically downwards. Like curtains. So I'm going to quickly do that. So that should that. You should have a template from the Lighthouse Central website and you're going to colour that in and cut them out. So we've got our all our letters here and I'm going to take my H and I'm going to lay that on my blue and I need to cut it in half so that it will fold open. So I can have some scissors. Sure. 
just down the center and I'm going to stick them either side just like that so that they make the letter each. With your other color card bits you need to have the O but it's sliced in the other direction instead of vertically it's horizontally so remember to not do it that way. So I have stuck my H down. Now I'm going to fold it open and as you just said, we're going to cut it so it's along that line. So after you've done that with all of your letters, you're going to have the finished result and it will be like this. So H, O, P, <laughs> E, Hope. So, if you want more in detailed instructions, go to the Lighthouse Central website to find instructions and a video. And make sure to have fun. <laughs> you could use this to pray. Think of all sorts of things beginning with H O P E. And if you cannot say things in words, Jesus will always listen through your heart. Yeah, let's go back to Cap one last time. And then a song all about hope. Thought I probably shouldn't spend too long in the toilet. So, this is the last day and this is the last session. So what have we learned? What have we learned about hope? Well, as we've gone through the week, we've seen, we've seen Noah and he was brave. And it didn't matter if no one else was doing the right thing, he stuck to it. And it didn't matter if, if the, the, the right thing to do was scary, he did it anyway because God helped him. So he was brave. We've seen David and he wasn't afraid. It didn't matter if everybody else was scared of this giant, he wasn't because he knew that God had it in hand. He understood God's perspective and the fact that what looked like a huge problem, actually in God's eyes, was just another thing that he could sort out. We saw that the Good Samaritan, the Good Samaritan was willing to help somebody who probably hated him because it was the right thing to do and he made a difference and he didn't have superpowers, but to the, the Jewish man that had been hurt, he was a hero. And we're surrounded by people who have just done what they do day in, day out, and they are heroes because they've done it for our good, even if it was scary. And then we see yesterday, and Jesus doing the really hard right thing and going through with God's plan for him to die so that he could guarantee that human beings never ever had to be on their own. They never had to be alone because he would be able to provide the Holy Spirit. And that's what we see today, the Holy Spirit with us because it's God with skin off and he can be anywhere and he can do anything. And that means that for us, we never have to be alone. So it's really important that we have hope and that's why we've got hope. People that lose hope, it, it, they can be so, so upset and their lives can get ruined. And over the last couple of years, sometimes it's been hard to know what we can hope in because so much has been taken away. But the one thing that's never been taken away, the one thing that's never changed is God. Throughout the whole of this past year, throughout the whole of life, God has never changed. If he said then he'd be with us, he's still with us. If he said then that he is in charge and, and anything we needed, it wouldn't matter because he could provide it. Well, then that's still true. God doesn't have favourites. It's not like he loves me any more than he loves anybody else. It's not like he'll provide for me and ask me to do things and not other people. The fact is God loves every single human being exactly the same and the fact is that he is always with us and can do anything through us. If God asks you to do something, he'll do it and even if you're the only person doing that thing, God is there with you and that's why we can hope. God never changes and he loves and he has an eternal plan, he's got heaven. The fact Jesus died means not only are we never alone, we also have the possibility of going to heaven and being with God. That's amazing. That's why we've got hope. And that's why just a faith in Jesus and knowing him as your friend is so precious. That's what I think anyway. And I think that's really great. I think I've been here long enough as well. So um, hold on. Don't know where Pat got to. 
but um, I'm off. See ya. When the world is hurting When life is so confusing I am sure of one thing Got you by my side Yeah When I'm feeling lonely And I start to worry I know God you're near me And you're always by my side yeah and i can lift my hands up to you i can raise my voice and sing you are who i put all hope in i will trust you in everything unlocks all those doors for us. It's been a scary time recently and life has changed a lot. But Jesus is always there for us and looking out for us. But it is time for the last bit of the memory verse with Jen and Zoe. They, I've heard they're gonna be doing the whole thing. Ah. So get ready to join in. Let's go. They will walk without becoming tired. But those who have hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Strokes. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run without needing rest. They will walk without becoming tired. Hope. I like this, Betty, you know, walking without needing rest. Yeah, winding down after that really long mountain climb. Oh, do you know what? I've actually got a good joke, an actual good joke this right, time. Yeah. Okay, so why do you dress warmly to go to the Andes Mountains? I don't know. Why do you dress warmly to go to the Andes Mountains? You know, because it's chilly. Like, the Andes are in chilly. It's chilly. Ah, oh, the best one this week. 100% the best one this week. No, 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 I'm sorry. All right, that is enough. Yeah. That is enough. There is no self guns challenge today, but there is this. Thanks. 
sorry, Ryan. I've bought you a present. See, you can write in all of your terrible jokes, like, how do mountains here? Mountain here? Bada booch. You've really left the worst till last, haven't you? What are you on about? Right. Uh, it's time to go over to the pentathlon team for the very last time. That was the best one. Oh, well done. Well, gosh, well done. Let me get over here. Oh, no, 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 leave her be. She's just quickly done an interview. Oh, oh, okay. Well, guys, we did it. And look how far we've come this week. On Monday, yeah. when you came up with that brilliant tactic, oh. two by two. And we were also really brave, seeing as we've never even done it before. Yeah, That's true. That was very true. And you look at Tuesday, how courageous yes. you were. I mean, like, you've done that all by yourself and we didn't believe in you, but you did do it. Yeah, and Ryan, that selflessness that you showed really taught us a lesson that day on Wednesday. But we did leave Lizzie alone on Monday. Oh, that yeah, true. that's true. Yeah. But she wasn't actually alone because she had faith in the Lord the whole yeah. way through and that saw her through that day. Yeah. And then you look at today, how we finished on top of the mountain, yeah. seeing that rainbow. Oh, my goodness. Right. I don't know about you, but I felt so much more hopeful after seeing that rainbow. Should we yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, let's, let's go. Ready? go. Final time. Believe. But we have hope. Trust in the Lord. Lighthouse. So we have met some amazing people this week. Yeah, like Noah, we can be brave. Like David, we knew you not be afraid. Yeah, like the Good Samaritan, we can help others. And we know we are never alone. Mm. With Jesus by our side, he unlocks every door. Yeah, and he gives us hope for today, tomorrow and forever. And that is it from us, but we have had a fantastic week. Thank you to you for being with us and to lovely Kat, Zoe and Jen for being Team Lighthouse. But we will finish with a prayer and then we will do My Lighthouse that one more time. Yeah, let's put our hands together and say thank you to the Lord for this week. Dear Jesus, open my eyes to see new friends. Open my ears to hear what we have learned this week. Please open my mind to think about things differently. Let my heart remember you are always with me when I am afraid. Help me to love others like you do. And share the hope of our hearts with one another. Let's do one last big amen to Jesus. Amen! amen. Thank you guys, see you later. Bye. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, you won't let go. In my questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. Trouble see. Oh, you are the peace in my trouble see.